Hi, in this particular video of ASP.NET, we will discuss about the list view control. Basically, whenever we create a data source, we can bind that data source directly with the list view as list view will show you the data from the data sources. So we have already covered a number of data sources, so you can just bind the list view with any of that data source. List view gives you a big variety of representation of data where you can either show as an individual record or you can group them as well. For example, if you have some images in your database and you want to show them multiple images on a same line. Multiple images means maybe the multiple profile pictures of the different users. So in short, you can show multiple records at a same line as a thumbnail. So either you can group them or you can show them as an individual. Like the other controls which we have covered, even in list view, you can edit, insert, delete or sort the data without any code. So here we have a bit more functionality than other controls such as we can do the grouping apart from all the functionalities which other controls were providing. So let's have a practical implementation of the list view control. So let's start the implementation of list view now. For that first of all I will add this list view control and can choose the data source for that. So for this I will choose a new SQL data source for which I will take the existing connection string for me and then I will choose the particular tables from the list. So here I will be working on the TBL employees. I will go for all the columns right here and then I will say next. We will test the query. It is giving me some records and then I will finish it up. Now as soon as it is done it will not be able to lay out, uh, give the output because we still have to design the layout. As we know, list view doesn't have any predefined template, so we'll have to do that. For that, I'll come to configure list view, and here you can see there are few options available. Like if I want to show that in a grid, like a tabular format, I can do that. Similarly, if I want to give, give a tile detail or bulleted details, flow or a single row. So these are the few options available. I'll go for the tiled. We'll give some colors here and then we'll say OK. So as you can see now here you can show three records in one row and it is something customized. All right. So let's see how it is looking at the runtime. So this is somewhat the output of this list view. You can do even better customization right here. If you want, you can come here in the source and can put some tags. As you can see, there is already few tags available inside it, like insert item template, group template. You can just write all these tags by yourself and can do something customized as per your requirement, like changing the background color or maybe changing the number of rows as here the group item count is 3. If you want, you can change it to 4. It will show you 4 records per row like this. So this is how you can start implementing the list view control. Now you can also do the paging but this is what we will do in our next control that is data pager control. 